Hello again everyone. As you guys might have noticed, Arena was reset and everyone's ranks has gone all the way to the bottom. So I decided to try and see if I could actually reach first place after the reset. Unfortunately though, I did start three hours after the reset. So I kind of thought I wasn't going to be able to do it. But I was actually able to reach first place even after three hours late. I was actually, I kind of overslept, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was really, 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 really sleepy in the previous night. So that, that's what happened. But yeah, I was actually still able to reach first place, even though I started really, really late. Of course, I'm not first place anymore because, you know, it keeps changing all the time. But I did get it back a few more times, just, just for fun, really. In any case, in this video, I'll be showing how I did it and talk about how to counter some situations you might actually find in PvP if you are at a higher rank anyway. The beginning was of course very easy since everybody was very very low leveled so all the fights were really really quick so we'll be we'll be skipping those just to save some time but before i start talking about counters i'll be going over the team i use pretty much 90 percent of the climb it was basically a team built around six star anna with summer Saren and new year ninika that way anna can just burst immediately dealing a lot of damage and hopefully killing almost everybody on the enemy team. The other two positions can be changed, of course. I usually used Inori, 6-star. She can be 5-star or below. Uh, it's basically just because of the stun. And the other position would be Magical Kasumi. Of course, these two can change depending on what you're facing, but I use them mostly because they both stun a very wide range of characters. So Inri stunning the front line and Magical Kasumi stunning the back line. This team in general works very, very well, but of course it doesn't work 100% of the time. So let's go over some situations you can find in the top ranks and how to counter them. I don't really know how to counter every situation, but I, I know quite a few of them. So let's actually talk about them now, shall we? Okay, let's go over the first team now, shall we? This first team is composed of Inori, Yukari, Anna, Saren, and Magical Kasumi. This team is actually very, very close to mine, but with a few differences, of course. I actually ended up losing against this one, but I still decided to actually cover it just so you guys know what actually happened and what you guys can actually do about it or what I could have done instead of actually using this team. <laughs> uh, here in this team I am using uh, New Year Muimi because New Year Muimi starts all the way at the back of the team and that way she can actually aggro Magical Kasumi stun because Magical Kasumi stun is around the furthest character from her which in this case, if Muimi wasn't here, it would be around Saren over here. And that way she would stun Saren, Nenika and Anna, which would be very, very bad, of course. We want to avoid that. And because of that, we use Muimi because, again, she starts all the way at the back. So she is the one furthest from her. And uh, while she is running all the way to the front, she is actually invulnerable. So she will not get stunned even. That way no one gets stunned from Magical Kasumi. So that's one threat taken care of. If you guys don't have New Year Muimi, which would be weird because she's a free character, you can also use Rima. She does exactly the same thing. She also starts all the way at the back, which is very, very nice against Magical Kasumi. If you don't use someone like Muimi or Rima, Magical Kasumi will be a really, really big trouble. So be sure to actually use her. Besides that, there are also there's also another threat in the face of in the form of Inori. Inori has a very very strong stun in front in an area in front of her. In this situation, she would stun uh, Ray and maybe Anna as well. But in this case, who am I using to actually counter Inori? Inori here gets countered by Ray over here, Astral Ray. Astral Ray has a ridiculously uh, ridiculously fast stun it's only a single target of course it's only to one character but it's way faster than either Inori's stun so in this situation Saren not Saren sorry Ray will stun Inori very quickly and Inori will be pushed all the way back to the team and that way she doesn't stun anyone so another threat being taken care of of course amazing really so why did I end up losing this fight even though I 
take took care of Inori and Kasumi over here. The threat I forgot to actually take care of, and I actually didn't really know about back then, it's Yukari over here. Yukari, I know, I, I mean, I did know about this. Yukari has a really, really big TP battery that she can give to one person in the team. Yukari, if she is at the first or second position, she will always get give this TP battery to the, what is it? To the second character from the back of the team, which in this case is actually Anna, which is interesting. That way, Anna can immediately... So, Yukari gives TP to Anna, and Anna can immediately burst the whole team. Which, of course, is very bad. <laughs> and that's why everybody dies, because Anna can burst immediately. So, she bursts, kills everybody, and yeah. And that's basically why I died. <laughs> what I should have done here, actually... I actually even tested this. What I should have done this... What I, what I should have done here, I mean is remove uh, Neneka and replace her with Inori. I should have another Inori on my own team. That's an actual really nice circle then. If I had Inori, Rei would stun the enemy Inori and Inori would stun Yukari. My Inori would stun Yukari. That way Yukari wouldn't be able to give the TP to Anna and Anna wouldn't actually use her burst immediately. And that way the team would actually win, my team. Funnily enough, though, it is a little bit of RNG. Sometimes Anna can actually pull off her burst quickly enough, but some other times, like it's 50 50, uh, some other times it would be Muimi the one bursting first and killing Anna. That way they don't have their DPS and the team just crumbles. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. Okay, let's talk about the second team. This team I also ended up losing, also because I didn't really know about something that I will explain, of course, in a little bit. So as I mentioned before, we use Rei to counter Inori because Rei is faster than Inori. Rei is so important in these fights, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> we are using... Wait, actually, that's, that's it, really. That's the only counter I actually got or uh, pulled off here. I also was planning on using Kasumi here to counter the backline. Kasumi would counter the backline. But I failed to understand how slow Kasumi is. And also failed to understand how Yuki actually works. Yuki has a skill that is actually very, very annoying. And her skill... His skill, sorry. <laughs> Yuki's skill charms the second character on the team. So in this case... Yuki would charm Anna. And what sh what does charm do? Charm prevents Anna from attacking. Or, I mean, not even... I think it's not attacking. It's... She starts attacking my own team. I think. I could be wrong. But basically, she doesn't do what I want. That's basically it. Because Yuki charmed Anna, right before Kasumi could stun Yuki, Anna just didn't pull off her burst. And because of that, the team just crumbled and she ended up dying because, you know, they got their burst off and they killed my own team and yeah, Anna died and my DPS is gone. Yeah, and that's basically, that's, there's not really much to understand here. Just Yuki being faster than Kasumi, charming Anna, Anna didn't do anything and we all died. What I should have done though, is using or replacing Kasumi with someone to stay in this position. Someone like Inori, for example. Inori would stay in front of Anna, and that way Inori would be the one stunned. And in, those, in that situation, Anna wouldn't be stunned by anything, and she would be free to just use her burst immediately, and the whole team would actually just die.
And now let's talk about the team I actually won. <laughs> probably the, the teams we are going to talk about next are probably just teams I won, if I'm not mistaken. But in any case, this team is a very easy team to counter. It's basically a team with double Kasumi over here to just stun everybody. Regular Kasumi. Regular Kasumi stuns the front line and Magical Kasumi just stuns the back line. So, you know, they would, quote unquote, counter my team, right? But how do we counter them? Like, just like I mentioned before, Ray has a very quick, multi, not multi-target, single target stun. So she being quicker than Kasumi, regular Kasumi, she would just stun Kasumi immediately and Kasumi would be pushed back all the way back to the team and she wouldn't do anything. And how do we, of course, how do we counter magical Kasumi with New Year Muimi? Why? Because she starts all the way back and then she aggros magical Kasumi's stun and she wouldn't be stunned because she is completely vulnerable while she's running all the way to the front and no one gets stunned. So none of these get stunned. And because all they have really is just those two stuns to actually survive, as you guys may have noticed, this team just has a bunch of defense, so they don't really have any AoE attacks or whatever. They are only relying on just surviving. They just end up dying because no one gets stunned and Anna, of course, can just burst everybody and they all die. And that's basically it. Very easy team. You probably will find, you guys will probably will find a team with double Hatsune, double Kasumi I mean. It's either double Kasumi or magical Kasumi with an Inori in the team. And those teams are usually very, very easy to counter. Just because you can just stun the front line and stun the, and aggro the back line with a Muimi. Okay, I mentioned talking about more teams I won against, but uh, well, guess what? I lost against this one also. <laughs> but of course, I will again explain why. Just like the first team, this team also has Yukari in it. And what did I mention about Yukari? Yukari, if she is in the first or second position, so if she is in the second position over here, Inari is the one in the first position. Uh, if she is either in either of those positions, she will give the TP battery to the second to last position in her own team. So in this case, the second to last position here would be Amis. So Yukari would immediately give the TP battery to Amis. And what does this achieve? Ames with the TP battery, she will buff immediately burst and give a barrier to everybody on the team. And what does this make? Because of this, Anna's damage will be greatly reduced, making it so they actually survive. <laughs> and since they do survive, Ayumi just kind of starts wrecking havoc on everybody on the team. Ayumi is a very, very tanky character. And unfortunately, Anna, after bursting, she kind of is, she, she just loses all of her defense. She pretty much just kills herself, kind of almost. <laughs> but because of that, Ayumi just kills her. And well, without our DPS, we can't really do anything, of course. <laughs> and everybody on the team just ends up dying because we don't really have any defense or healing. Of course, what could I have done here? I did counter Inari with my Ray, of course, as usual. Ray just stuns Inari, but I didn't counter Yukari. And how do we counter Yukari? With our own Inari. If I had an Inari instead of freaking <laughs> uh, Halloween Misaki, uh, I'd get Inari and Inari would stun Yukari immediately. She would probably be around here and Inari would just stun Yukari and Yukari wouldn't be able to give the TP to Amis. And without the TP to Amis, they wouldn't get the barriers and they would all die with Anna, of course. A very simple to understand, just a miscalculation on my part because I wasn't really, I'm not, I wasn't really used to fighting against the Yukari teams. Basically, Yukari is a very, very strong character, of course.
Okay, this is unfortunately a team I don't really know how to counter because it's way too strong and really, really fast. <laughs> it's a team basically with Summer Hatsune and New Year Homare. They both have this really, really fast ability, which is basically a nuke that just hits everybody. Like everybody on my team will get hit by their own nuke. And since they are both so, so strong, everybody will, almost everybody will most likely die. I'm not sure how to counter this team in particular. It's one of the few teams I don't really know how to counter. I don't know how to counter this team and the team with Matsuri. Matsuri is also a very, very tanky character. Well, I have an idea how to counter Matsuri 6-star, probably with Kaiser because she just can remove barriers. But that's besides the point. Anyway, this team, I don't really know how to counter. So if you guys find this team and know how to counter a team like this, just let me know. <laughs> and if you guys don't know, well, just uh, just dodge it, really. I really recommend just dodging this team in particular, because it's, it's just kind of tough. The only way I know how to quote-unquote counter this team is if you use very, very tanky characters. But at that point, you would lose a lot of DPS, and you wouldn't really be able to kill anyone, especially... Especially Miyako over here, who's very, very tanky, and you need a very, very strong magical DPS, basically, because Miyako can't dodge magic damage, of course, because magic isn't dodgeable, only physical damage. But then again, that very, your very own <laughs> magic DPS could just die because of these two. So yeah, I don't really know how to counter this one, so just, just try dodging it. You won't really find it that often. It does show up sometimes, though, but you can just dodge it. And now let's go over the final team. Of course, I win this one because it's the first place. But this one has a very peculiar situation. This one is actually using Prishia over here. And she actually does show up quite a bit often in the top ranks. I wasn't really too sure how to counter her when I was climbing, but I eventually came up with an idea because, you know, it's not really that difficult to actually figure it out. Prisha, just like all the fallen girls, has this very special ability where she starts flying and characters with flight, they basically just dodge AoE attacks if they are not directly targeted at them. So, Prescia does indeed just dodge Anna's burst UV because it is an AoE and she is flying. So we would need someone else to actually counter Prescia, to actually kill Prescia in this situation. And for this special situation, I decided to use Kyaru over here because she is single target. She is not AoE, so she will just kill Prescia. And she did kill Prescia. She immediately kills Prescia as soon as she is... Uh, like, vulnerable. Besides that, we of course have Yukari over here. Yukari, since she is in the first position, she will buff, uh, giving TP actually, she will give TP to Amis immediately, giving, or uh, enabling Amis to burst immediately, but of course we are using our Ray. Ray is very, very strong, very, very quick, I mean, to stun, so she will stun Yukari, which will negate her TP, that way Amis will not give the barrier to everybody, and without the barrier, they can survive Anna, and Anna just kills everybody. Except for Ayumi, of course, because Ayumi, for some reason, is really, really tanky. <laughs> she does actually survive all the way till the end, and this fight was actually really, really close. I was actually really surprised, but she does she does die eventually at the end, so it, it ended up being all right.
and this is basically how I got first place in the arena. It, this video ended up being kind of a guide on PvP. I know some people have been asking me for a PvP guide for quite some time now, so I hope this can actually help you guys. I know I didn't really cover that many matchups, but the ones I did cover in this video are actually quite common, so I hope it can still help you guys very, very much. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.